There are so many nights, but where are... Where are all the... Days? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Cyberverse Deluxe Class... Thunderhowl! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging Bumblebee, Cyberverse Adventures, Thunderhowl, Transformers, the Build-A-Figure McAdam. On this side of the box we have some Auto box. He is a deluxe class, a class of deluxe, a deluxe class, and a class of deluxe. Oh, on the other side, we have McAdam up top, Bumblebee on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. You have McAdam, the figures you need to build said McAdam, and all you need to know about Thunder Howl is he is a knight of the primes, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Thunderhow, the final figure in this wave of Cyberverse Deluxes, the final figure of this build, the figure wave. And here is Thunderhow in his wolf mode. It looks pretty good. I have my issues with it, but it looks pretty good for the most part. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head scum. You can see some nice yellow going on in there, yellow for the eyes. Little butt symbol right there on the head. Got some little kisses going on there. You got some silver here for the spikes, some silver there. Now my one major gripe with the wolf mode is the front paws because it's just, he's just on his knuckles there. It's just, yeah. Looks fine from the front, but then when you go sideways, you're like, oh, that's just his hands. He's just on his knuckles. So that, yeah, that's, that's no good. I don't like that, but oh well. It is what it is. But, I should get a little bit of gold paint going down the back, as well as some silver. And the back legs, and his tail. And he slides as wolves should slide. Hooray for sliding wolves. So there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Bumblebee. With RC. With Hot Rod with Grimlock and with Prime. So, there you go. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head can move up and down and that is pretty much it. The mouth can open and close very wide. As you can see, it has like a tongue in there. There's a purpose for that. Uh, the front legs are on a ball joint so they can Rotate, and it can move in and out. You have rotation there. You have the, this is an elbow or a knee in beast mode. I guess that would count as a knee. Uh, you have rotation there at the front paw slash hand. It can also move downward. Uh, the rear legs, the hind legs can rotate as well. Outward rotation. You got two joints to work with back there. The back paws. Or on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly rotation, all that good stuff. The tail doesn't do anything, so there you have that. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, he does include an effects part here. A nice transparent plastic. It is bendy bendy, so it's more rubbery rubbery. But you can open up his mouth, and this will just. Light on like so, and there you go. Now Thunder Howl can vomit energy, just He had some bad energy on, I don't know, I don't know. But hey, a thing you can do if you wanna do it. So there you have that. But there you have it for the beast mode, and it's pretty good. The only thing I don't like is just the, the way the front paws slash hands work, but oh no. Looks decent, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> you get back here, man. He tried to just spin off the camera. Anyway, so we're going to take this back piece here, and we're going to remove it. What? Parts for me. Shh. 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 Put that off to the side, and 
we can commence. And this guy actually has a pretty interesting transformation. So what you want to do here is you want to take this panel and just pop it up. You want to come here to these hip sections. You want to untab them. And at this point now we can just straighten out his legs, bring them back. And this section right here is going to rotate in like that. Same thing on the other side, second verse, just like the first. Just untab that and just straighten the leg out, bring it back and just bring this section in like that. And then we can take these and just slide them up like so. There are little notches for those tabs to sit in. And then we just split the body like so. And then we come in here and we open up, it's got a spine section here, which is also his tail. You open it up and this I thought was quite clever. You open this up and in here is where his sword stores, his sword stores. I know words, I swear I do. This is where his sword stores, and that's pretty cool. The stores right in there. And you wanna make sure, there's a specific way for it to go. You wanna make sure that this little, this little bit right here, the, uh, the guard is facing upward because there's a flat side, there's this side. So you want this side facing up. If you do it the other way, this won't close all the way. But yeah, that's pretty clever how they got his sword, the store there. So you just want to just kind of bring the arms back. Bring the arms back so you can bring the body together and tab it all together. And they can just open up this tail the rest of the way like that. And at this point we can just kind of get everything straightened out with the arms and legs. So just take the shoulder pads and bring them out. Rotate the hands. Shoulder pad back. Rotate the hands. And take these little hip pieces and rotate them to the back. And rotate that to the back. And there we go. So now we want to take this whole assembly here, bring that down, and that will tab in like that. And then you just want to take, you could totally have like werewolf mode, you know, hey, you can do that too. Why not? You know, hey, sure, sure, sure. But you want to take the head and just bring it down. This hinge on mine is really tight, but just bring that down onto his chest like that. And all of this right here will just come up and sit flat on his back and just bring that up. And the last thing we do is just take these sections here, just bring them out to the sides. And there you go. There you have, hey, you stand. There you have Thunder Howl in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good. Let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chest, at the noggin. There's a noggin. You can see he has a little battle mask on. It's yellow for the eyes. A little bit of silver there for the head crest. Got the wolf head chest going on there. You got the nice silver on the forearms. Got some gold there on the knee pads and some silver. There's the big old feet. You got the tails hanging down there. You know, this is kind of trying to simulate his, uh, his cape. Oh no. Not too bad. Now articulation wise, uh, the head can just rotate and that's as far as it can go. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out due to transformation. You have some forward movement as well. You have bicep rotation uh, under 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. The wrists are on a ball joint and they can move downward if you need them to. Uh, nothing at the waist, just due to the way he transforms. Uh, legs can move forward that far back, only that far before the tail gets in the way. Uh, outward, only that far, I guess if you move this out of the way, you can get some extra movement. Uh, you have thigh rotation. Uh, also, if you, I guess if you undo that, you can have his legs move forward, but that's, that's not a natural thing. That's not a natural thing that a leg does. But as far as the knees, you have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. You have that joint too. If you want to break his legs, hey, why not? Things you can do if you want to do it. And the feet are on the ball joint, up, down, rotation, and tilted. And of course, we can give him his accoutrement of his shield and his sword. You can store the shield on his back and they painted the inside of it red 
So that way from the front gives him more of that look of the uh, the cape hanging down there, which is pretty cool. Um, you can technically store the sword. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but you do have these kind of like open little gaps here. So you can just kind of slide the sword back there if you want. Hey, thing you can do if you want to do it, if you want storage, it's storage. So hey, why not? Did I say why not? But he is a warrior, so he should be holding his weapons. So we can give him his sword. And you can do one of two things with the shield. You can plug it into his hand. And just angle his hand down using that ball joint. So you can have him holding it in front of him like that. Or you can just plug it onto his forearm like that. And have that going on, which personally I prefer. But hey, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. So, there you have that. And we can use the effects part here, and we can just slide this over his sword, like so, and then Thunder Howl can totally be all like, I have the power! You know, hey, things, things you can do. Things you can do if you want to do it. But there you have that, and now for Come, power us. What? Here he is with Megs. With Wave. With Grimlock. With Hot Rod. With RC. With the Bumblemeister. And with Prime. So, there you go. And the last thing to talk about is the included build a figure part. And Thunder Howl comes with McAdam's head. Yay! And there it is, Noggin. Look at that Noggin. Got a nice silver, nice metallic paint there for the eyes. And now that we have his head, we can finally bring in his body. And we can now finally finish. Like Adam, that's really hard to get on. Get on there. That is really stiff. I can't. <laughs> that is incredibly, incredibly hard to get on. Come on, my Adam. Come on, buddy. Is it on? There we go. There we go. It's on. Jeez, look what I did. Look what I did to my finger. Trying to get that on. There we go. It's on. Jeez. There we go. We finally have a complete McAdam. And he's kind of small. He's kind of a little guy there. But yeah, let's take a look at McAdam real quick. So again, that head sculpt. But yeah, he came together quite nicely. It took a long time, but he is finally, finally complete. Hooray, hooray for McAdam. Now this figure does not transform. I think it's blatantly obvious that it doesn't transform, but just to let it be known, because people always ask anyway. But uh, as far as articulation goes, you can look up, down, head, can rotate, all that good stuff. Arms can rotate in and out. Um, his elbows are just on the ball joints, so it can rotate. Bend, you got a little over 90 degrees of bend. He does have uh, wrist rotation. Uh, he does have waist, well it's more an upper torso joint, it's on a ball joint there, so you have your wiggly waggly, rotation, legs, you can go forward, that far, back, that far, outward, that far, um, you got rotation right at the knee, the knees are on a ball joint, so that's where your rotation is, and 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, nothing at the feet, but keep your arms on, man, stay together, man, stay together, but... There you go, and we finally have the completed McAdam. There you have Thunder Howl, and there you go. So there you have Thunder Howl, there you have McAdam, and uh, there you have this whole wave of Cyberverse Deluxes. And as a whole, 
I think this wave was pretty successful. Just fun figures. Um, you know, some of them are better than others. I think Hot Rod is probably the weakest figure of this wave. Um, that's really just because he's just lacking so much color. And a lot of them are lacking color, but for the most part, they're all pretty fun figures. Pretty well done, in my opinion. McAdam's cool. So, all in all, I am quite pleased so there you go now if you would like this or any other cyberverse figures you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability there'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out you can also check out my cyberverse playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well and I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff are down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Cyberverse Deluxe Class Thunder Howl. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Boom in your face. Ah, uh, greetings, my liege! Ah, uh, who are you? I, sir, am Thunderhowl, a knight of the primes. Ah, uh, okay. And I'm here to join you as we embark on a most glorious quest. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Me Grimlock say he talk funny.